Okay, today's subject is um, normal number. Uh, you know, once in a while, you know, patient come and they ask me, and then on oh, my, you know, uh, um, uh, blood pressure number such and such, and they ask me uh, take, uh, you know, uh, medicine, and then I said. I can recognize what, what the patient want to and uh, patient does not want to take that medicine and so uh, oh, how old are you and uh, I ask you that uh, I ask you know, and then I told them uh, I think you, know, you don't have to take it then you know, what, you know, they ask me back but you know when medical doctor asked me to take it then if you want it then you take it now the, I understand why they ask me that kind of a question, and then I just in the answer, you know, uh, you know, you know what they uh, what they want to hear about that. Okay. Now, first of all, I do not have authority, you know, to you know, uh, um, you know, ask you know patient not to take it that prescri prescription. This is beyond my ability. You know, I understand they just, you know, well, consult. Okay, fine. But then, what is my standard? And sometimes, you know, a uh, patient also, my osteoporosis number is such and such, and should I take, you know, uh, a calcium a supplement? I, you know, I don't think you don't have to take it. And then, you know, oh, what about, uh, what about, you know, a doctor's prescription? You know, you know, it's the same story. Now, why I said not to take it? Now, the old dose number medical doctor you know suggested to you, uh, for example, the high blood pressure is like a normal number is a standard number is one hundred twenty over eighty. Okay. Now, one hundred twenty over eighty is usually the person is young and healthy and strong, like, you know, uh, uh, age is 30 years old. So, <clears throat> now, let's say 60 years old person, then, you know, let's say um, his blood pressure is uh, come to 150. Then, uh, <clears throat> so, he take a med medication, then you know, take it, and then the number come to 120 over 80, okay? I become normal now. Then, but when I was 30 years old, I did not have, you know, a, a gray hair, I didn't have a wrinkle, my vision is perfect, but when I become 60 years old, I have gray hair, I have a wrinkle, you know, uh, vision is not that, uh, uh, good as it used to be. That's quite normal, but if the medical doctor suggests, okay, this is the standard, uh, standard of um, aging uh, around 60 years old or 70 years old. Okay, in here, the uh, 60 years old, okay, the blood pressure normal is 150 in this group, and you are over 170. I understand that. I agree with that. But without considering the age, my age, okay? And just compared to when I was 30 years old, when I was strong and healthy, then compared to that, you know, age, I don't agree with that. I think, you know, uh, anybody, you know, uh, listen to this one should agree with that because that is, in the you know, common sense. Now then, you know uh, uh, what? What I suggest: <clears throat> try to find out what you can see, what you feel. Let's say I have a pain in here. Do I need, you know, X-ray or MRI? I have a pain in here. I have a pain. Then get the treatment right away. You don't have to take in x-ray things like that. X-ray doesn't help you to remove this pain, okay? 
And then, you know, what they told you is, okay, in order to find out which muscle, you know, uh, you know what kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, anatomy, you know, uh, uh, become wrong, that's so you have a pain. No, you don't need that stuff. That's what I, uh, what I claim, because that is just uh, energy movement. The blood circulation is not perfect. That's why you have pain. So once we reset, chi and blood, make a movement, blood circulation, making movement, the pain will disappear. It's a simple matter. Then, let's say, oh, I don't have energy to even talk. I know about I feel about that, right? I have a headache in here. I know where the headache is, then get the treatment. I have a difficult breathing, then get the treatment. And sometimes, you know, what people, uh, people, you know, uh, uh, said, you know, uh, my hands and feet are cold all the time. Yeah, that is the problem because there's a poor blood circulation. So therefore, once a blood circulation well, then your hands become, you know, normal, warm. But they do not know this is disease. That's the problem. You know what's the problem, but you know what? You have to recognize, you have to understand that is a problem. I do not have, you know, clear vision that you know about that, okay? And sometimes my, uh, my skin is itching and become, you know, red. You feel, you can see that, okay? Then you got the treatment, you know. Am I talking to you, you know, in a difficult thing? Or? I have a fever, I have a chilly feeling, then my body is something wrong. So what I suggest is that, you know, um, instead of, uh, you know, invisible uh, by you, like a cholesterol level, you cannot see that, okay? Osteoporosis, you know, uh, you know a number, you don't have to see that first of all, okay? So pay attention, what you can feel and what you can see, that's the right way to diagnose you know, what went wrong. It's simple, but once you treatment you know, this kind of a thing, then your cholesterol, you don't have to worry about that. I believe so. Thank you so much for your watching.